for the first time, I'm seeing Pastor T.B. Joshua wanted to shake a woman and then removed his hand. What could have caused this thing? Please, what you is it? You, you say, I'm... Where is your things, your property? My husband has moved everything to the village. Are you not surprised for me to ask your property? I'm not surprised. My sister even sent me a text in church that she saw. She dreamt that you, you spoke to me today, so I'm not... Where is your husband now? I don't know where he is right now. Probably he's in the village. We're not talking. Are you not surprised? A man is asking, where is your property? Because I'm saying the property has been taken to the village. Everything. And the man is, is not in the village. And you too, you are now becoming a, a bad woman. Mm. You listen to me? The condition should not make people to misbehave. Your condition is not making you to misbehave. A situation you are supposed to get out of under one year, you may use 20 years to and still remain in this situation. We are not supposed to stay long in our situation. Because it's a test. When you are doing examination, do you stay in examination for one year? When you enter examination hall, it's for a while. After the test, result come out, you'll be promoted. But a situation where your situation remains a year, two years, three years, it's not normal. But when you don't see it as a test, you try to avoid it, you try to do all sorts of things, to manipulate, to do, to, I mean, Satan dislodge you. Our situation is a test, examination. Read, see it for the exam, get it. Put it behind you. There was a test your husband saw one day. I will not say what will destroy your marriage. I will say what will bring. Because this man still love you. He still love you. But you believe you are too much. You are very beautiful. You keep looking at the mirror. Your mirror keeps deceiving you. So I want to see you. Okay? This marriage, whatever we can do, the man still love you. Thank you, sir. Listen to me. You, you are a stubborn woman. I know. You are not respect the man. You are very stubborn. You give the man a tough time. He asked me to leave my banking job and I stayed. Hey, that stop that, sir. You with banking. You are talking about bank, I see. Banking, every one day is suffering now. Both the banking and everything. Well, Why are you mentioning bank? Is it special? What is special in bank? If he said you will not mention you will if he's selling fish, he will not say he made me to leave fish work. Why is this starting with the where banking? That to tell you is a stubborn woman. Because I'm not expecting her to start to do such he made me to leave my banking work. Which kind of banking? Is it the general manager? No, it's not supposed to start from the banking. As if uh, he made me to leave my banking world. What is better in bank? Why are you telling me you are working in the bank? The man, I'm defending the man. I don't know the man. I've never met the man. You are the cause of this marriage. You are the cause a very stubborn woman. Go and wait for me. I will do every property to unite this marriage. Abi, I, come. Abi, you are not interested. I'm interested. We have two kids together. Ah, he met your kid again. <laughs> the mature kid again. See me, oh. You're interested in the money, I'm interested. Why is the mature kid? You have kid, you allow your mother to go that way. Okay, where your husband work? He's in Abidjan. Where is he working? He works, he stays in Abidjan, he works there, he does his business. Can there. you imagine that? He cannot tell her the kind of work he's doing. But he's working in the bank. And the, the husband working in... Uh, on the air. He's telling that the husband has no job. So you are the one feeding your husband. Eh? So you are the one feeding your husband. You work in the bank as an MD of the bank. Are you MD? No, sir. No, sir. What are you doing in the bank? I was a cashier there. A uh, teller. A cashier is a job. Go well, and sit down. <laughs> Please, I want to see her. <laughs> All these are to humble her. She's very proud. Emmanuel, my name is Mrs. Rose Umealu. The man standing by my side is my father, retired Commander Ilukwe, 
and this is my immediate younger sister, Ife Inwa Walter Okafor, and this is her husband, my son-in-law, Ike Chuku Walter Okafor. Last Sunday, the man of God came to me and asked me, where are my properties? He also said my husband has taken all my, moved all my things to the village. All the prophecy the man of God gave to me on Sunday was, they were all true. Because for almost a year, I and my husband, we have not been talking. We've had problems, we've separated, you know. And uh, I've moved, I moved uh, my things on the 29th of uh, December last year to my father's house. So after uh, the prophecy, man of God said he wanted to see my husband. And I know he's here. My name is retired Commander Emmanuel Ilukwe. Last Sunday, we were at home watching Emmanuel TV with members of my family in Mbo, Anambra State. Mbo, right. There, suddenly, the man of God spotted my daughter. It was, everybody shouted. We were not aware that he was here, really. So we shouted and became interested. So we had a prophecy the man of God gave. Everything he said is very, very correct. What really happened was that about f five months ago... Why do you want to disturb Baba? Baba is out of this uh, issue. He only came here to, to support the marriage. Baba, please, don't disturb Baba. Why is your husband? Qui est ici présent et sa sœur avec eux. Et maintenant le mari qui sort des rangs, qui a été invité par l'homme de Dieu. Let for me, I don't know this. Just introduction. I'm so, 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 that's why I don't want to hear anything because I don't want anything to affect this marriage. This is marriage from God. So and we are not in law courts. Okay? It's a purely divine message given by God. So, sir, your name, sir, and uh, are you the one we are looking for? My name is Chukuma Umeyaro. I'm a Nigerian from Anambra. So you are the husband of my sister? Yes. So you have listened to the message. And I'm very sorry that I will not allow you to talk because after service I want to see the family. Okay? And uh, do you have anything against what the Holy Spirit has said? No. Or I should allow you to talk for two minutes, three minutes? But I don't want you to say anything that will affect our marriage. Okay, let's hear. Well, she's my wife, and I still love her. He says he still loves her. I think we can listen to you a bit. So, because nothing bad will come from the love. Okay. The problem started when we went to wait. And she needed a homage for the wedding. I told her. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> my brother, I've said everything. I say my daughter here is very stubborn. And when you are stubborn, you want to use private jets. Okay, so thank you very much. And I would not want him to talk more than that. I want to see them in the middle after the service. I will host them. We pray together. Everything will be all right. Okay? This is purely message from God. And this marriage is from God. There's nothing we can do about it. So please, I'm sorry. So thank you. Prophet T.B. Joshua hosted Mr. and Mrs. Omialu and family at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. The man of God prayed with and counseled the family. Let us hear their story. I want to thank God for bringing my family back together. Before I came here, the, from the onset of my home, it has been war, problems, you know, more of tears, um, absence of joy you know a lot of issues so but god has done it today he has restored peace into my family once again before i came here i didn't know it was the cause of the key problem it was god that revealed it i didn't know it was my duty first to be submissive before any other thing you know i want to i'm always right you know so that's it 
And because of all these issues, he um, last year he, you know, he asked for a divorce that he wanted us to separate. That was in May. So since May till um, um, last week Sunday, you know, we weren't talking. I had to leave my matrimonial home. I had to move my kids to my father's house. The man of God sent for my husband. He he prayed for me and also said he was going to talk to my husband, and which and invited my husband over, which um, since then peace has uh, come into our lives once again. We are now communicating. We don't talk that much, so we are communicating. We are talking more now, you know. So he's telling me a lot of things, and I'm telling him a lot of things as well. It means communication because then we lack communication. We don't talk. We only react, you know. And those reactions were often negative. Yeah. Yes. My name is Chukuma Umeya. I'm a Nigeria from Anambra State. I thank God today, and I thank the man of God, T.B. Joshua, for saving my family. I'm so happy today. I'm so very happy. I thank God for everything. Now my family is back again. I'm so glad. I don't have anything to say. I'm just thanking God for saving my family. Now me and my wife, we are so happy now. We are living as husband and wife again. I'm so glad. I thank God for everything. I didn't expect I would pass through this thing for 13 years. But today, I'm happy. I'm retired, Commander Emmanuel Ilukwe. I'm here to testify to the goodness of God in my family. I'm so excited, I'm so happy. Prior to now, um, we are warming up for war. Seriously, we are preparing. I've started making contacts. Because um, about six months ago, to be precise, my son-in-law called me on the phone. I didn't, I'm not aware of any problem. Called me on the phone and told me in a very shocking manner that he is no longer interested in marrying my daughter. Without even giving me reasons. And I outright, I told him, if you are not going to marry my daughter again, it is the court you should go to, and I'll meet you there. There, I arrested my case. So I let her call my daughter. I let her call my daughter to find out what was her miss. And what she told me was not cogent enough. But then I, I shouldn't take a side because it's my daughter. He did not make take a decision to, just from one person's point of view. Subsequent uh, telephone call, my in-law called me because he normally called me on screen number. He screened the number, so I wouldn't know the number to call him. I chose to maintain my cool. So some other time he called me. So I raised those issues. He, my, uh, my, my daughter told me, and he didn't deny them. Only he made one funny allegation, which he could not substantiate. I called his people. I took the initiative to call his senior brother and his cousin telling them what is happening. But I didn't see any response to them. Then I concluded that it was a, maybe a family decision. And um, since I know I'm up to the tax, I have to prepare myself, call my family members. This is the situation. So I wasn't expecting this. I, I thank God because I, it's not my prayers to see any of my child or even my daughter divorce. I don't like it. I'm, I'm married for 40 years now. Uh, my father married my mother for over 50 years before he died. And my grandfather never divorced any of his wives. They lived his wife. So we have a tradition in my home, and which I want that tradition to be maintained. So that is, um, I give, I give glory, glory to God for what I just happened today. Because uh, I let me, uh, two weeks ago, we are, uh, not, not about two weeks ago, uh, about 10 days ago, on a Sunday, we are at home watching Emmanuel television because it's a, it's a religion in my house. We are just watching it when my daughter was spotted out by the man of God. We all raise alarm. We raise alarm and then we listen. And we said, God has spoken. Since God has spotted my daughter, that means God has something to say in this marriage. So 
all our anger, all our pains, all our disappointments, all the feelings we are having, we are doused at that moment. Because I knew God has something to say. And that goes to confirm that where there's no prophecy, where there's no prophecy, people will perish. And from that moment, it was joy. I'm thanking God. I'm thanking the man of God. Because this is a miracle. It's a miracle that it just, just happened. And I appreciate God. And I return the glory to God. And um, it's my prayer that man, God, God will sustain man of God. Give him more anointing. So that not only me, other people will benefit from this kind of anointing. It is... It is amazing what I have seen. I, I saw them looking at them as if nothing had happened before. To this, I, give, I turn the glory to God. Well, I will say, if you miss God, you miss everything. Whatever problem you have, call upon God. He will answer you. Because he says, cast my body on me and I will help you carry it. We have cast our body because all this while we are praying. But God has so answered. And I say, if you have a problem, call, on, call upon God. He will surely answer you. Children of God, Emmanuel. My name is Mississippi Ingwa Walter Okafo. And I'm so happy to be here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. I just want to bless the name of the Lord for this great day, for this thing He has done for my family. Indeed, it has been marvelous. I thank God for directing our steps to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. God indeed is working here. Three weeks ago, I was at home sleeping and I had a dream where the man of God came to my home in Delta State. And he came to my sitting room start, standing in front of my TV and he stretched forth his hands towards my elder sister, Mrs. Ume Alu Rose, and laid his hands on her and she fell under the anointing. I was watching her. And he turned to my direction, and he stretched forth his hands, and he laid his hands on me, and I fell down. And I felt this sensation like electric shock all over my body. And I stood up in that dream, and I said, ah, so this is the deliverance I've been watching on Emmanuel TV. So this is what it feels like. So when I, I mean, I was saying that I woke up, and I looked at the time, it was almost 2 a.m., and I said, indeed, the Lord has visited my home. In the morning, I called my husband and my elder sister, who happens to be staying with me since the crisis started. And I narrated my dream to her. And we thank God for the deliverance. About a week later, she told me she wants to come down to Lagos to seek the face of God concerning the marital crisis she has been having um, in her home. And she came down. So that she traveled on a Saturday and I, we, we were waiting for her. I mean, we, we all waited at home. We didn't go for our regular church services just to watch the service life because we know my sister is there and we know that God will visit the case and even to pray with her. And we were home. I woke up a bit late, about 8.30, and I realized that the service had started. And I noticed one funny thing. I had another dream. And I realized in that dream that the man, I saw the man of God speaking to my sister. I was so happy because I have heard testimonies that when the man of God speaks to you, or you know, that there is breakthrough already. So immediately I picked my phone to call her. It, it was ringing and I, I checked this, my TV. Praise and worship had started. So I knew she would not be able to pick the call again. So I sent her a text saying in that text that my sister, all is well with you. I saw where the man of God spoke to you. To my amazement, when after the sermon, the man of God was speaking to people, prophesying to people, and he went to my sister, and he went straight to the point, he did not miss words. He said, where is your property? And as at that time, my sister does not even know where her properties were. Her husband had moved, she has not seen her husband for about a year. The husband moved her properties to the village. They've not spoken. There's crisis all over the place. She has been seeking the face of God to know if this marriage will work or not. And the Lord located her. I knew the dream, the deliverance has come to pass. And that is why we all came to celebrate. And since we came, it has been wonderful. Emmanuel. I have never seen my sister happier. It's as if they just got married yesterday. Since after the deliverance, you know, they've been inseparable. They've been together, moving together, eating together, staying together. 
In fact, I just want to thank God for this mighty deliverance that has come to her, to myself and my husband, to my home. There's so much peace. It, it, it looks as if you can even see the peace physically. God indeed has done great things in my family and I return all the glory to him in Jesus name. My advice to people that are having this kind of problem all over the world, seek the face of God. Genuinely seek the face of God. He's the God that answers prayers. He will locate you. Just seek the face of God. He will locate that problem and he will solve the problem because God answers prayers. Amen. Wow, I'm so happy today. I'm happy to be part of this reconciliation today. Indeed, it is worth being here. Truly, I've always longed to be part of the man of God. So when all these things started happening, I saw it when my wife rushed into the room that morning to tell me that the man of God is talking, you know, spotted the elder sister amongst millions of people in this big synagogue i rushed in immediately and i saw the man of god talking to rose and indeed what was going through my mind was god indeed is god because this revelation came before now just like my wife has said and we immediately concluded that no matter what happens we are going to be part of this reconciliation and we are happy that god has done it and he has done it for us all my word of advice is like the man of God has always said, he is always talking about love. Love is his greatest thing in life. Love with love. I believe that most marriages having issues today will be able to condone themselves and be able to bear a lot of issues. No man is perfect. No woman is perfect. So let us all key into the key words of the man of God. And these key words are love, faith, because this are the things that is going to propel us beyond every obstacle of life so i thank god today that love has come back to its real self and today we're all happy to be here thank you jesus the word of advice i will give to people to have patience because sometimes god has many ways to prove himself but i thank god today for my family, for my wife. I love her so much. Emmanuel, my advice to viewers all over the world that has problems like this, that had, you know, I will say keep trusting in God. Just keep trusting because one day God has uh, something to say about any situation in your life. Don't be in a hurry, don't be in a haste because when you're in a haste, you might make a, a very drastic mistake in your life. Just keep trusting and ask God. Because like what the man of God normally says, he said, if God does not release you, you have no right to release yourself. If not, you, you, you make another mistake. Keep making more and more mistakes. So just keep holding on, trusting God, be patient, and one day he will address the issue in your life. And the man of God uh, is also uh, blessing this family with uh, a cash sum of uh, 200,000 naira to facilitate your transport back to where you're coming from and also the man of God has asked us to also encourage you in faith to remain true to God to make the word of God the standard for your life and also remember that the past must not be brought to account anymore I want to say a big thank you to daddy I'm very very grateful he's been a daddy to me because the four, last weekend I came here, he gave me a sum of 50000 and he's still blessing me again. From the depth of my heart, I'm really, really happy and I'm very grateful. I just want to thank God for his life and I pray that God will keep him and give him more grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Emmanuel, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> We thank God. Amen. I love you. Honey, merci, Fele. There is, I've not seen a man at Charlotte Boy as TV Joshua. God bless you. So many families are going through this. And I pray that this video will encourage you. My video that I used to post here is to encourage people that are going through the same situation. 
God bless the video so I may, may his soul keep resting in peace. Eh? Mm, let's learn one or two things. Let's sometimes we'll be blaming our partner not knowing that we are the cause of the issue. I don't want to talk too much. Have a nice day, my friends.